The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is here, but what does this new phone bring to the table? Let's break down the specs and see how they stack up against the previous Z Fold 5. And remember that the specs can only tell us so much, so subscribe to CNET for more on this new foldable and everything else Samsung announced at its Summer Unpacked event. The Z Fold 6 is part of Samsung's new Galaxy Z series, which the company says is the slimmest and lightest yet. But how much slimmer and lighter are we talking? Well, when closed, the Z Fold 5 is 0.53 inches thick, while the 6 is 0.48 inches thick. And when open, the 5 is 0.24 inches thick, while the 6 is 0.22 inches thick. So the Z Fold 6 is thinner however you slice it, or I guess in this case, however you fold it. <laughs> and the Z Fold 5 is 253 grams, while the Z Fold 6 is 239 grams. Another notable difference between these two phones is that the Z Fold 6 has a newer chip. The Z Fold 5 has Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip optimized for the Galaxy series. The Z Fold 6 has, you guessed it, Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. Samsung says this new chip is optimized for AI processing. It's not surprising that Samsung's highlighting that its new phone can support AI, because AI is the buzzword in tech right now, and because Samsung introduced a suite of generative AI features called Galaxy AI earlier this year. Galaxy AI is available on the Z Fold 5 and 6, so both phones will have plenty of AI features. Now, Samsung did introduce some new AI features in its unpacked keynote that we know will be on the Z Fold 6, like conversation mode in the interpreter app. But it's unclear if this or other new features will trickle down to older Samsung devices like the Z Fold 5. The Z Fold 5 and 6 both come in 256 and 512 gigabyte, as well as one terabyte storage options, all with 12 gigabytes of RAM. The Z Fold 5 starts at $1,800, while the Z Fold 6 starts at $1,900. Next, I'm gonna go over the displays. Let's start with the internal screen. So both the Z Fold 5 and 6 have a 7.6 inch AMOLED internal screen with a one to 120 hertz refresh rate but the resolution varies slightly between the two models. The internal screen on the Z Fold 5 has a 2176 by 1812 pixel resolution, while the one on the Z Fold 6 has a 2160 by 1856 pixel resolution. Now let's go over the cover screen. The Z Fold 5 has a 6.2 inch AMOLED cover screen with a 1 to 120 Hertz refresh rate, while the Z Fold 6 has a slightly larger 6.3 inch AMOLED cover screen also with a 1 to 120 hertz refresh rate. As for resolution, the cover screen on the Z Fold 5 has a 2316 by 904 pixel resolution, while the one on the Z Fold 6 has a 2376 by 968 pixel resolution. When it comes to water and dust resistance, the Z Fold 5 has an IPX8 rating, while the Z Fold 6 has an IP48 rating. The Z Fold 6 may be more resistant to dust and particles thanks to that new IP48 rating, but like the Z Fold 5, it can also be submerged in water for a short time. I am really interested to see how the Z Fold 5 and 6 cameras compare in real life because the 6 has that newer chip, but I will say that the camera specs between the two phones on paper are pretty similar. Now, there are a few different ways to take selfies on these phones. If you're used to a non-foldable smartphone, the way that probably feels the most familiar is closing the phone and using the selfie camera in the cover screen. As far as specs go for that, the cover screen selfie cameras on both the Z Fold 5 and 6 are 10 megapixels with an f2.2 lens. But these are foldable phones, so there is another way to take a selfie if you're using the phone like a tablet you can snap a pic with the under display camera that stays, for the most part, hidden behind that internal screen. As far as the specs go for that, the under display cameras on both the Z Fold 5 and 6 are four megapixels with an f1.8 lens. As for the rear cameras, both phones have a three camera system. More specifically, both have a 50 megapixel wide camera with an f1.8 lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with an f2.2 lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with an f2.4 lens. Both rear cameras also have a three times optical zoom. Both the Z Fold 5 and 6 have a 4400 milliamp hour battery. 
Now, for some more context, the two-year-old Z Fold 4 also has a 44 milliamp hour battery. But in his Z Fold 5 review, my colleague Patrick Holland found that the Z Fold 5's battery lasted about an hour or two longer on a single charge than the Z Fold 4's. The Z Fold 4's battery likely drains faster than its newer replacements due to an older, less efficient chipset. And that makes me hopeful that even though the Z Fold 5 and 6 have the same battery capacity, the Z Fold 6's battery might last longer because of its newer chip, assuming using more AI features won't nix that efficiency. You already know we'll be putting the new phone's battery to the test, so stay tuned. Those are some of the biggest differences between the brand new Z Fold 6 and the Z Fold 5. You can check out CNET.com for even more spec details, and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available for pre-order now and goes on sale on July 24th. Let me know what you think of this new phone in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.